Welcome back inside the Now Morning Show. We're keeping it Tobago. It's Tobago Thursdays. And I want to jump across and have a chat with the Behavioral Services Officer for the ADAPT, the Aid, the ADAPT program. Uh, Sherman Joy Charles joins us via Zoom. Good morning, Sherman. Good morning, and thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for being here. First of all, tell us a little bit about the ADAPT unit and what it does. So... So the Alcohol and Drug Abuse Prevention Program, we are a unit under the Division of Health, Wellness and Social Protection with the Tobago House of Assembly. Mm -hmm. And we deal with substance misuse prevention, which means that we are encouraging persons who are using to stop using and for those persons who haven't used to not start to use. So we mainly do that by education programs and activities. Fantastic. So tell me a little bit about the Drug Awareness Week now. How did it come about and what is the, the objective? So the Drug Awareness Week was an idea that was initial, initially brought about through our last manager, Mrs. Billy Sterling Lewis. And we normally would have the International Days Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking. And we realized that that was not enough. One day was just not enough to really reach the big audience about the, the scourge that substance misuse presents. So the week is basically focused on educating persons on the negative effects of substance use and also so it's for those persons who think they have a problem to seek help and give them the necessary resources they need to stop using um, those substances. So that's essentially what the Drug Awareness Week is about. And when is it? So it's going to happen next week. So it's going to be next week, Monday to Thursday. That's the 5th to the 8th of February. Interesting. Uh, any particular reason that mm -hmm. that week was chosen? Um, we chose that because it was the week before carnival, and we know that carnival is one of those times where persons tend to get involved in a lot of substance use. So mm -hmm. we're hoping that we are able to capture them just before they start the revelry, so that during the carnival season they can make you know well informed, healthy decisions. All right, so I want to break down a little bit because we, we're talking about mm -hmm. uh, abuse, but we're talking about drugs, we're talking about substance abuse in general. So, kind of give me some of the clarifications of what you would, what, what you think uh, people have been abusing that we need to be backtracking on a little bit. So, I know for sure the main substance that is used um, widely is alcohol. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a serious alcohol problem in Tobago, and one of those reasons is because alcohol is a, it is a legal substance. So you can get it anywhere. And because we have so many events that alcohol is used, it's at, at um, wakes, at um, birthday parties, at funerals, at weddings, at harvest time. So it's easily accessible. Persons are always, you know, getting involved in drinking alcohol. And then we also have persons using marijuana. And, you know, we have now the criminalization of marijuana. And persons are still not so, they don't really understand the, the difference between the criminalization and legalization. So they <laughs> automatically think it's legalized so I could use it. So we have that as well. And then we also have an issue with tobacco use. And a lot of persons tend to use the tobacco and the marijuana at the same time. So those are the three main substances that are used. And then we also have those recreational drugs like the ecstasy. And also we have those dust pills and, do, and those things. So those are mainly the substances that are used currently in Tobago. Used or misused? Misused, I should say. Thank you for that correction. I just, I just check misused, in because yes. I, know, I know there's a difference. There. I mean, I imagine because, because you mentioned alcohol, which is a legal substance, um, there's use mm -hmm. and then there's overuse, misuse, abuse. You know, um, mm -hmm. And is it that we want people to stop or we want people to cut back? What, is the, what are you hoping to achieve? So we are hoping for persons to actually stop. But we okay. do know that when it comes to substance misuse, stopping may not be, persons can't stop cold turkey, they can't stop at once. So what we encourage is persons, especially when it comes to the legal substance, which is the alcohol, is to, you know, know, what, know your limits. Know how much you can drink, um, don't drink and drive, and so forth. So essentially, we want to have really a, a substance misuse free Tobago. But for those persons who might have challenges stopping their substance misuse, we want to encourage them to start to cut back. All right. So tell me about some of the activities we have during Drug Awareness Week. So our main activity, um, we're having activities from Monday to Thursday. So we're having um, two school visits. We're going to enter into two schools and we're going to have our drug day in this drug awareness day in the schools so we're going there we're targeting the standard for students and we want to sort of encourage them to 
understand how substance misuse can affect them negatively. We're also going to have um, some media. This is our first part of our media appearances, so we're going to be on Tobago updates as well. And also we have uh, an addiction series that we did a few years back, and we want to start to show those um, videos again on Chat Tobago Channel 5. But our main thing is our drug awareness week caravan, and that is going to take place on Thursday at the um, the Coliseum down at Crown Point. And for that, persons can come there to have their health checks done, um, their screenings done for substance misuse, their screenings done for mental health, and also they're going to be exposed to the options for treatment for those persons interested in getting treatment for their substance use. So those are some of the activities that we're going to have next week. Now, one of the things that you said there is very, very interesting to me. Uh, what are some of the mm -hmm. things that, that happen? What are some of the effects that happen when you misuse these substances? So outside of the physical effects, um, right. you know that it affects your main organs, which is your liver, your heart, your lungs, and your brain. So we always encourage persons, you know, persons who are using and they want to start stop using the first thing they have to do is get a full medical check because mm -hmm. you realize when you use over an extended period of time it tends to affect your liver your kidneys your heart your lungs and as well as your brain so we encourage you to be very careful because it does affect you physically mm -hmm. and then we also have uh, many of those social effects persons who have lost their jobs because they're not able to control their drinking or their smoking so their employees have to let them go some persons who families have decided to put them out who have decided to separate because the substance use is affecting them negatively and then we also have this situation within schools where a lot of children who get involved in substance use tend to have delinquency issues. So we have a lot of suspensions, some persons who are getting expelled as well. And so we want persons to understand that drug use does not just affect you physically, but it affects you socially as well. And mm -hmm. it is not just that individual problem, but it extends to the family and also to the community as well. Most definitely. I think it's important for us to get that point across because it's not just about you. It might be you mm -hmm. using the substance, but it affects the people around you, people in your community as well. And I mean, the country as a whole yes. eventually gets affected by it all. Mm -hmm. uh, so yes. what are some precautionary measures that you would advise for persons going out for carnival uh, who might want to partake in some celebration, some revelry? Um, is it <laughs> moderation? Is it do drink, drink water and just enjoy the music? Or what would be your, what would be your suggestion? <laughs> So my suggestion, firstly, once it's illegal, don't use it. So once it's an illegal substance, don't use it. Okay. If it's it that you want to drink, don't overdo it. Know your limits. We have a lot of persons who are drinking and driving. And we know what happens there, the accidents, you know, persons dying and so forth. So we want you to be mindful of what you're drinking. We always encourage persons, don't take drinks from strangers. Because you also have persons who are drugging your drinks. Mm -hmm. So don't take drinks from strangers and if it's that you do insist on drinking don't mix your drinks and make sure that you eat you keep eating so there's not a possibility for you to get very very intoxicated but at the end of the day we want to encourage persons it's always safer it's always safer to party without a substance it's always safer because at some point in time whether you drink a lot or you drink a little sometimes you know you're not able to control yourself you're not able to control your actions persons can easily manipulate you so we always encourage persons at the end of the day to party without using a substance now Sherman, one of the things that i, I hear about often mm -hmm. um and i just wanted to get some clarity if you can share some with us uh, mm -hmm. alcohol poisoning that seems to be a thing that, that i've heard about before but w what is that exactly and how does it happen so what alcohol poisoning is, basically your liver is not able to get rid, your kidney, sorry, is not able to get rid of the alcohol as quickly as it should. Okay. So what happens is your body basically becomes poisoned by the alcohol because your body sees alcohol not as a food or a drink, but it sees it as something that you need to get rid of, which is why a lot of times when persons drink a lot, they tend to pee a lot as well mm -hmm. because your body's trying to get rid of it quickly. So what happens is your body is not able to manage all the alcohol in the system and that's when your body basically becomes poisoned so some persons might start vomiting vomiting a lot some persons might have seizures some persons might pass out uh, for some persons depending on how much they drink end up in comas and so forth so that's basically what um, alcohol poisoning is it's just that your body is not able to get rid of the alcohol as quickly as it should because you put in so much pressure on your organs to get rid of it 
All right. So the, the idea is to ease up your body a little bit and, and not drink so much, yes. drink plenty of water in between, that kind of thing. Uh, what other activities <laughs> can we look forward to from Adapt Product going through the rest of the year? So we do have our regular sessions at the health center. So we visit one health health center every month and we do sessions there with the persons who are at the clinics. We also have our international days coming up. We'll know Tobacco Day, May 31st and the mm -hmm. International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking on June 26th. And we normally have a clean air fair for the private schoolers for the World No Tobacco Day and a symposium for the International Day Against um, Drug Abuse. And we also normally have our life skills camp where we look at developing the life skills of children so that they make healthy choices, not just when it comes to substance use, but healthy choices in general. So those are some of the activities that we have upcoming for the mm -hmm. remainder of the year. Fantastic. And if persons want to reach out and contact the, the ADAP unit to get there, to get some assistance, mm -hmm. uh, how can they do so? So our numbers at the head office are 639-33395. Mm -hmm. Our extensions are 47075 or 47076, or you can call 487-6665. Well, Sherman, let me thank you so much for joining us this morning and for sharing this information. And please continue to do the great work that you guys are doing uh, because, you know, the more information that we get out there, the better for everybody. That's true. And thank you so much for having me. Not a problem. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day.